Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. New York coffee. So in September, October and November last year, a few bullish patterns started to emerge. The mid-September 2023 action eventually became a pattern, an ascending scallop pattern, that led to another pattern, an early October to mid-November 2023 bullish halfway hesitation, which in turn led to the late October date, imperfect, breached, now broken, though possibly seeking repair, bull channel, currently at 188.70 to 204.90, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. I suspect the breaking of this bull channel was due to the crossover nine weeks ago of the upper bull channel line with the significant neckline, currently 184.45, of the large January 2020 to April 2021 reverse head and shoulders bottom. And that is the one that's highlighted in green on my daily chart. The break higher over the upper bull channel line eventually led to a move upwards towards the combined resistance in mid-December last year of the November 2014 high at 201.35 and the 50% Fibonacci line of the February 2022 to January 2023 move at 201.70. Though I suppose you could also throw in the bright orange declining neckline currently at 202.60. That's above the market and that's of the April to May 2022 reverse head and shoulders pattern. Between them all, the market halted its rise and turned back down through the bull channel and eventually stopping at the combination of the 50% Fibonacci line of the May 2019 to February 2022 move at 174 even and the August 2021 low at 174 and a half in the middle of January. In the process, prices filled in the gap left behind in late November between 173.20 to 173.55. We've since moved back up last week just over the congestion between 187.40 to 187.00 even and the broken lower bull channel line but last Friday saw a bearish engulfing pattern after some recent failed bullish patterns that closed below the broken lower trend line and today well today we're testing lower below the 50, 2015 high at 187.40 all this action allowed me last week to draw a bright pink November 23 to January 2024 bullish Andrews pitchfork. The market is currently between the lower time below, currently 181.85, and the middle time above, currently 201 and three quarters. So what's next? Well, we could see the market follow this bright pink pitchfork higher, which would be fine. But I just wish to make you aware that the action since late November last year has also set up the possibility of a head and shoulders top. It's not a perfect one, but if the market chooses to go down this route, then we would be in the final stages of forming the second shoulder with a neckline synonymous with the purple colored 50% Fibonacci line of the May 2019 to February 2022 move at 174.01. Now this level is a key level to watch 174.01 on the downside, especially on any significant confirmed break below it. London coffee. The influential pattern here from the middle of 2023 until really November stroke December 2023 was the June to December 2023 bear channel. Attempts to break up and out of this pattern happened as far back as late October 2023, but the real push higher happened in mid-November last year, with the market utilizing, to varying degrees, the rising short medium moving average currently at 28.35, the long moving average currently 25.83 
and especially the medium moving average currently at 26.35. During the process of breaking higher, the market also formed a small late October to date ascending triangle. And at the start of December 2023, the market broke up and out of this pattern somewhat violently. Prices jumped up and reached the primary target and eventually the secondary target for this ascending triangle pattern topside. Then there was the second larger pattern, the original broken bear channel. Both the primary and secondary targets of the bear channel were also reached topside, whilst making new all-time highs. And eight weeks ago, I laid out the following ideas topside, and I quote, When I do look higher, I can see a projected 50% Fibonacci line up at 30.83, which may be a little rich for some in the market. End of, end of quote. Well, apparently this was not too rich, as after a pullback down at the end of December last year, which turned out to be a bullish halfway hesitation, well, uh, three weeks ago, prices reached up and punched through the 50% projected Fibonacci line at 30.83. However, though we have seen prices move significantly higher at the end of last week and the week before, the market dropped to stabilize on the 50% projected Fibonacci line and just below the new neckline for this small head and shoulders pattern, which is currently at 3102. Now, I am still pondering on this idea of a small head and shoulders pattern. All this action, though, did allow me to draw last week a mid-November 2023 to early January 2024 bullish Andrews pitchfork, which you can see highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. The market is at the moment just below the lower time, currently at 3148. And I have concern as to whether I should retire the bullish Andrews pitchfork and instead draw a shallower bullish shift, uh, bullish Andrews pitchfork and instead draw a shallower bullish shift pitchfork. I'm also minded to consider clarifying primary and secondary potentials, which would be at 3006 and 2914. The only reason I haven't is that we have not confirmed a break below the neckline as yet. But that is being tested right now. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.